teams in the West hook up in Langley, looking to solidify their hold in the playoff picture. With much of their core moved on from a championship run last year, the Seattle Thunderbirds have remained competitive in the strong U.S. division. Now they head north of the border to face the Vancouver Giants, still in the hunt for the BC title. Two prior meetings, two trips to extra time. Round three is next. WHL TV presents WHL and 30, Thunderbirds and Giants. School, you're getting lots of help uh, from your school advisor, uh, billets, uh, they're always there for you. Just everything uh, is there for you if you, you just need to ask. I chose the WHL because uh, my dream is to play in the NHL and I feel like that's the fastest way to get there. Whether you're in Brandon, Prince George, Portland, or anywhere in between, you can take in WHL action up close and personal. Visit whl.ca for complete ticketing information for all 22 WHL clubs. CHL champions on ice in life. The experiences I had in the CHL can't be duplicated by anything. The people you meet, the experiences you have, I'll cherish those for life and you know they'll help me down the road too. Uh, one of the biggest things was the captain's care program we had where we'd go visit uh, sick children in the hospital. It was more beneficial for us than it probably was for them because we saw how happy they were, it made us feel good and uh, it was a good connection to the community. CHL champions on ice in life. Back to the action of the marquee game of the week as WHL TV presents WHL in Third. Friday night at the Langley Events Center. Welcome aboard. I'm Dan. He's Bill. Vancouver Giants going left to right in their home whites. The black, the red, the gray trim. Seattle in their road blues. The gray, the white. And the green trim going right to left. The opening period face off. Both times that these two teams have met this season have resulted in overtime or a shootout. Seattle's played a lot of overtime and shootouts as of late. Let's see what tonight has in store. Thunderbirds bring it in along the left wing side. Loose puck in the middle. Benson going to send it to the left point. Not out. Turner Ottenbright. His shot goes wide. Riddle scoops it up behind his net. He'll play it up ice. Not forward out to center by the Giants. Seattle trying to get a head of steam. Kitchen stood him up nicely at the line. Now cleared back out to center by the Thunderbirds. Here's Wedman bringing it back across. His shot blocked by Bullich and defended well. Cleared out of play. First whistle of the game, 36 seconds in. Tishka behind the goal for Ronning. Ronning trying to wrap it around to the left wing side. He'll spin away from Lee. Ty Ronning zigs his way to the left wing circle. Now to the point for Parker Hendren. Let's one go! Save made by Hughes. And now Watts along the left wing. Kept it in. Nice move by McNabb to the middle. Tried to make one move too many. Good start to this game by the Giants as Seattle does it clear. Benson to Malm, left wing side, sharp angle shot. Hughes is going to glove it down and hang on. Two minutes, 58 seconds in, and an impressive start for the home team. Jake Lee behind the net for Seattle as we approach the five-minute mark here in a scoreless first. Giants on the defensive as Seattle breaks forward. Lee is bumped hard along the wall by Jared Dimitru. And now Kitched it, trying to clear the puck. He's hooked up, and Seattle keeps the puck in. It's Vulcan along the left wing. Left point for Lee. He couldn't handle it. And now the speedy Dimitru is after it. Dimitru's going to grab it. Wrist shot. Blocker save made by Hughes. Niles the other way. Gets it down the right wing side. Trying to go wide on Byram. He does. He ran out of room, though, when he shot it wide. Byram got just enough of him. Goes for a change. Benson against Toretta. Toretta gave it up. Mom looking for Riddle, who jumped up in the play. Couldn't get a shot on target. Here come the Thunderbirds up the ice, up the left wing side. Kaluski, left wing side, wide on Hendrick. Kaluski now wide on Holt, sends it around, wrapping it around. Tendick was there. Lee now at the left point, a low shot that went wide. It was blocked, loose at the side, and a chance for McLean, kicked away by Tendick. Owen Williams now for Seattle. Up the left wing to Niles. Crossing his way in. Byram defending him well. Niles centered in front. Puck loose. Whacking at it. Tenda got down and made the save. And now we've got a stoppage in play as David Tendick's mask came it's off. the offense. But that well, stops you know, play. Seattle's best time and space chance, in front but of the net. so far so Marcus good Kitchen. here tonight. Puck's going to go to the corner. Kitchen bumping with his man. Wedman checked off the puck nicely by the Giants. And now up they come. Riddle. To Kosh. Tough pass. Kosh settled it. Finds a man in the middle. Benson scores! 
Oh, no. Off the crossbar, says the official. Benson let it rip, and that was nearly one nothing for the Giants. Well, you see how good Benson is. You see what he did earlier. What he did earlier with his with his passing again. He's made a couple terrific passes in the offensive zone. This time, right between the hash marks in front of the net, he lets that great wrister go, and it's nothing but iron. Great music to the goaltender Liam Hughes. Bullets back to Brown, and Tanner will have a look at the left wing side, and he'll chip it forward through the feet of Tishka, and now Seattle picks it off. They're going to bring it back. Kosh went for a change. Now to the right wing side, Phil. To the right wing side, in front, up high. That hit the outside of the net. Noah Philp down low. Peyton Mount into the left wing corner for Samuel Ho. Clear to the right wing side. Not out. Jake Lee at the left point. Low shot. Tipped on goal. Mount on the rebound. Tendick dove across. Oh, mercy, what a save. Tendick coming to his left. Made it. Now a rebound and a chance in front. And that was denied too. Peyton Mount nearly at his first goal in the Western Hockey League. Caleb Bullich has taken a penalty. But golly, what a save by Tendick. Turner Ottenbright. He'll drop it for Andrusiak. Wide to the left, Andrusiak for Vulcan, picked off by Holtz, couldn't clear the puck. Right side, into the slot, quick shot, save Tendick, and the rebound knocked away. Big save by David Tendick as he denied Vulcan. To the outside at the goal line, backhand for Tishka, Tishka to Barger, back for Tishka. Tishka waits, goes to his left for Philp. Philp towards the net, a tip, and then Hamelok denied by Tendick. Now on the redirect, Tendick got the blocker. Good grief. What a period for David Tendick as he made that save on the redirect. Malm at his own blue. To the left, kick forward. A little Pele play from Owen Hardy. Samuel Ho for Seattle. Got it back. Williams checked by James Malm in on the tenacious forecheck. Left wing side, Seattle trying to protect the puck. Dimitru stripped it. Right wing side in front for Malm and just in the nick of time was Lee to get his stick there. Watts trying to settle it down along the left wing and he will. Left point for Kitchton. Kitchton checked by Vulcan. Puck knocked out of the air and here come the Thunderbirds. Could be a three on two. Vulcan dancing down the right side. Wide on Watts. Vulcan! Puck kept out by David Tendick in the right pad. His third tremendous save of the period. And now a giant haul down at the side of the goal. David Tendick has been aces here for the Vancouver Giants. Watts, nice feed for Ronning. Delayed penalty coming up to Seattle. And then Ronning goes hard into the boards after a collision with Strand. 2-11 to go in the period. And Vancouver going to the power play. David Tendick has been spectacular. Byram to Watts. Watts tried to go to Byram at miss. Ronning trying to tie him up. Byram held it in. What a play. Holt looking to get it in the middle. He's checked. Holt trying to stay with it though when he does. Tishka for Seattle got his stick up on Holt. No call. Kosh to the left wing for Ronning. Ronning to Byram. Byram at the left wing point. What patience for Bowen Byram. Byram to Holt. Left circle. A low shot save. Rebound loose and Watts just couldn't get there. Kosh and Ronning provided the screen and ever so close for the Giants. 15 seconds to go in the period. Here's Bowen Byram. Up the middle, right wing side, wide he goes, wide on Ottenbright who uses the body against Byram. Behind the net, Watts to the outside, Giants with three seconds to go, they're going to run out of time, that'll do it for period one. WHL TV presents WHL in 30, stay with us for more exciting action. With the scholarship program the WHL um, produces for us players is, is huge and it helps us just kind of not worry about the money aspect of it, but just focus on the school and, and your hockey and um, makes it a lot easier on a student for sure. Whether you're in Brandon, Prince George, Portland, or anywhere in between, you can take in WHL action up close and personal. Visit whl.ca for complete ticketing information for all 22 WHL clubs. WHL TV presents WHL in 30. Every Saturday, we bring you the WHL's feature game of the week. Tune in February 17th, where there will be no love lost in the friendly city. The high-flying Moose Jaw Warriors will try to defend home ice in an East Division clash with the Regina Pats. Catch all the key goals, hits, and saves from the week's marquee matchup. 
WHLN30 on Shaw TV, WHL.ca, and YouTube. Welcome back to WHLN30. The action continues in our feature game of the week. Bowen Byram. To his right, Riddle into the middle for Kosh. Right wing Ronning, and now here come the Giants. Ronning looks for Kosh, found him. Quick shot, that didn't miss by much. Bullich pinching, got through. Bullich behind the net for Kosh. Kosh in front for Ronning, couldn't let it go. And Hughes sprawls and covers it up. But that's a couple times, Bill. Caleb Bullich has not been shy of jumping up exactly. in the play. He just continues to play more and more confident hockey as the season progresses. Well, you know, Dan, he read that play well. Off the draw. Face-off won by Seattle. Strand, left wing, Ottenbrand. A shot from the point. Tendick kicked the left pad out. Golly, that's another one for Dave Tendick. And up the left wing, here's Benson for Vancouver. Up ice, feathering a pass forward for Malm. Cutting through, dragging to the outside. Ottenbright couldn't find the puck. Malm takes it behind the net. Now puck centered, bouncing in front. Benson frees it in the left wing circle. Benson towards the goal, tipped. Oh, Ronning redirected it, and Hughes kept it out. Ronning at the circle, somehow kept the puck away from Mount. Mount then checked him and was then bumped by Malm. Tanner Brown, left wing side. Benson chipped it forward. Malm has room. Left circle, Malm dragged to the middle. What a play by Turner Ottenbright as he dove across and poke checked him before he could get the shot off. Benson in the neutral zone, and he can fly. Vulcan up the left wing, crossing the blue, looking into the middle, and Drusiak knocked it out of the air and shot it wide. Vulcan spinning. Got it to the corner. Kitchen, first guy there. Played it neatly around the right wing boards. Riddle, high off the glass and out to center. Watts going to poke it forward nicely. Down the right side. Watts finding the trailer. Kosh scores! He's got goals in back-to-back -back games. Davis Kosh, no hesitation in the slot. Up and over the left shoulder of Liam Hughes, and it's 1-0 for the good guys. Well, it looks like Ty Ronning is doing a bunch of celebrating here. Did he tip it? Well, that's Watts cutting in the high slot, gets it to trailing, and that's exactly what you want. You want that center lane either with a trailer or driving. It's cost driving, or rather trailing, rather, gets I the think shot. That, I think that might have hit Ronick. If so, I think that's exactly the case. Ronning crashing the net. It went off him. And Ty Ronning has the goal. Now Strand in the slot. Made a move to the back end. Now spins and fires. And there's Tendick with the stick. Ty Ronning has given the Giants a 1-0 lead. 48 goals on the season for Ronning. Now a turnover. Strand to the left. Waiting and a low shot. And Tendick got across to stop Phil. It's all Seattle on this pushback. Giants trying to clear. Left wing side hammered back in around the boards by Owen Williams. Best breakout in hockey, though. It goes right to Bowen Byram. And along the left wing, he'll take a bump along the boards. Ooh, that hurt. He'll get up. And Bowen Byram kind of gathers himself a little bit. Cleared out by Seattle to center. Dimitru got it forward. What a play by Dimitru. Now to the right for Torzak. What a feed to Malm. Point blank and a shot. Deflected. Wide to the corner. Mom, right wing now to Holt. Cutting down the right wing into the circle. Holt goes wide. Behind the net and up the left side. He goes down and checked nicely into the into the referee. What a play though by Mom to pick it right back. Watts in the circle looking in front. That pass missed. James Mom playing some good defense. Stripped Owen Williams of the puck. And then the Thunderbirds caught a break. Hendrick now ahead for Watts. Into the middle for Mom. Walks, waits, strands to the outside. Mom centered. Just about had Holt. Vulcan at the goal line, right wing. Wrapping it around. Popovich hooked him up. Loose puck in the slot. Hardy trying to free it. It goes high and wide of the net. Andrew Ziak, right side. Back to the point. It's Strand. He fanned on it. Loose in front, and it's underneath. David Tendick, and he hangs on. 2-0-3 remaining in the period. Right. Benson tried to clear to the line. Strand held it in. Dimitra then rescued it. Cleared it down the ice, and icing is going to be waved off. Tishka goes back for it. Benson is lurking. 
Tishka around the net, comes up the middle. Avoids a check, holds on, skates in across the line. He still has it in a shot. Nice save made by David Tendick as Jarrett Tiska took it coast to coast like butter toast. <laughs> 16th overall pick, Tiska playing in his hometown here of Langley. Looks like to me he's even grown more. 6'3", 199. Six goals last year, six goals this year. But boy, did he go coast to coast. You're absolutely right. And here's Hamiluk up the left wing for Seattle. Wide he goes, shooting it in. Bowen Byram back for it first. Chips it to the wall. Nolan Vulcan got there ahead of Kosh. Vulcan centered it. Sends it to the far corner. Strand pinching. Strand behind the net. Centered it through, and that goes to the right wing. Trying to free it was Benson. Held in by Hamiluk. Trying to cut through, and Tendit got knocked in or ran into. Play is stopped. And the Giants are maybe going to plead a bit of goalie interference here. Giants treading water here, Bill, in the late stages of this second period. Shots for the Seattle Thunderbirds in this period. 19-4. I'll do the math for you. Thank you. Hey, they're on their heels. There's no doubt about it. Always oh, so impressed with the amount of ice time Peyton Mount is getting tonight. The 15-year-old. And I'll tell you what, he deserves it. Off the draw. Shot towards the net. Blocked. It went to the corner. And now Kosh tying up with Niles to try to keep that puck free. Behind the net it goes 10 seconds seconds to go in the period. Barger to the wall. Ottenbright couldn't handle it at the line and now he's got to race back for it against Benson. That is going to do it for period number two. The shots were 19-4 for Seattle. But the score won nothing for the Vancouver Giants. David Tendick putting on a clinic and Ty Ronning has his share of history with the Vancouver Giants goal number 48 in his 2017-18 season. I chose Western Hockey League because it, it was my dream growing up to play in this league. Being a player in the Western Hockey League, you, you get challenged every day. I think there's tremendous support from coaches to, to staff and, and trainers, equipment managers, scouts. I think uh, regardless of who you talk to in the Western Hockey League, you're surrounded by a lot of really great people who, who want you to succeed not only in hockey but in life. Whether you're in Brandon, Prince George, Portland, or anywhere in between, you can take in WHL action up close and personal. Visit whl.ca for complete ticketing information for all 22 WHL clubs. Uh, it's been a great experience so far. I can't believe how fast it's gone by. For my player development, it's been it's been crazy how far I've come since I was 16 years old. So um, you know, I can't thank thank uh, the WHL and the CHL enough for that. Welcome back to WHL in 30. The action continues in our feature game of the week. Buck freed behind the goal, hopping the stick and up the other side. Zach Andrusiak, first guy there. Byram bumps him. Bullich in the corner. Back for Andrusiak, trying to escape, trying to wrap it around, trying to spin. He goes up top that either went off Tendrick or the outside of the net. Watts to Ronning, right side trying to get wide on Ottenbright. Ottenbright stepped into him. He's won a battle for a puck along the wall. Kept in by the Giants. Tishka now behind his net will start the breakout. Pass to the right wing for Peyton Mount. And ahead he goes for Samuel Ho. Drop pass, right circle, quick shot, pad save, Tendick, rebound, Lee! That's blocked by Dawson Holt. And now Tyler Ho the other way. One man to beat. Ho trying to go by him. He found Holt. Holt at the side, wrapping it around. Dawson Holt finds Brown at the point and a shot and a save made by Hughes. You know, you talk about your 19 and 20 year olds, obviously really talented players, but here you got Jake Lee for Seattle 16, Peyton Mount 15, Vancouver Bowen Byram 16, Henron 16, and there being big factors in this hockey game. Beautiful, beautiful display of young talent in the Western League. Tishka backing up goes rink wide for Strand. Right wing to the blue line. Here come the Thunderbirds. And up the right wing side, puck will be shot in. Behind the net, left wing side. Back to Tishka at the left point through traffic. That's blocked by Holt and cleared nicely. What a play. Strand backing up now for Seattle. Right side, Vulcan. 
Puck going to be shot in and a race for it in front of the net. Byram couldn't quite get there now. Wrapping it around his hammer. Look right circle. A drive. It's in the glove of David Tendick. And he hangs on with 11.43 remaining here in the third period of play. The Vancouver Giants lead 1-0. 3,437 in attendance watching this 1-0 Vancouver lead. Obviously watching Tendick do a wonderful job in his own zone. Nice play on Strand. Kosh tied up with Strand along the wall. Strand going to win it free, but it goes to Ronning at the left wing. Ronning, what a move through the feet of Barger. In front, Watt spins in a low shot. That just missed. Kosh towards the net. It's covered up by Liam Hughes, and that's a nice answer for the Vancouver Giants as Liam Hughes has to stop playing. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, they get that puck in the, in the Seattle zone. It hasn't been there a whole lot. Vancouver still with only 16 shots on net. That means one this period four for the Seattle Thunderbirds but you know their anticipation it seems like Vancouver just a half a second behind but what a move by Ronning 20 feet inside the Seattle blue line threw it right between the legs of a Seattle defender chance on net face off left side of Hughes good face off win now for Kosh back to the point for Bullets a shot sails wide of the far post Peyton Mount gonna spin gonna clear and now Sam Ho down the ice for Seattle Bullets Spins away from a check, but then lost it and cleared towards the front of the Vancouver goal. Tanner Brown behind the net. Now this has got to come out. Dan, this has to come out. I know it's a 1-2-2-4 two, two, uh, check right now because Vancouver's got possession. They do that. Good work by Brown. Patiently behind the net. Now in after it goes Watts ahead of Ottenbright. Bouncing puck behind the Seattle net. Trying to poke it free is Ronning. He will. It'll go to Strand, who I don't think has left the ice here in this third period for Seattle. Mount. Nice pass in the middle. Point blank. Philp scores. The 38th shot of the game for the Seattle Thunderbirds, and it's Noah Philp down the right wing. We're tied 1-1. Yeah, just off the rush. A good job by Peyton Mount. I mean, what what a game this youngster's having. He gets that puck over the blue line, finds that Phelps, you know, in a good position. One of those center lane drives, good headman stretch puck, pass out of the zone. And he just loses his check, Philp does, and, you know, just a good quick release. Noah Philp has quite the shot. Yeah, he does. And he showcased that even back in this building on November the 28th. Noah Philp, his 12th of the season. And it took 39 shots. But David Tendick couldn't grab that one. And now game on here in Langley. Drant behind the goal for Seattle. As he looks up the middle, finds Niles. Donovan Niles wide to the left. Leaves for Andrusiak and a shot sticked away by Tendick. Strand, right point. Trying to go wide on Byram who stripped him, but the puck comes back now. Barger, a high shot. Kosh blocked it. Right wing Niles trying to avoid the check. He'll go to Andrusiak. 30 seconds to go. Strand, a high shot. That deflects wide. Giants are caught in their own zone. Ronning, though, frees it up the right wing side, and he's going to clear it. Ottenbright, though, poke checked him. And here come the Thunderbirds. Andrew Ziak, left circle, fires, and Tendick falling backwards, got just enough of it. He hangs on 47 saves. Well, Dan, you know, as good as Ronnie's played, as well as he's played, and you know that he leaves the, the ice with his gas tank empty. When he gets to the blue line on that last rush, the Seattle blue line can't turn it over there. You can't make it a short ice surface. He's got to get it deep. He failed to do so. The T-Birds come up the ice and another shot on that to Tendick. Face off. Save. One by Seattle. Ottenbreit going to skate it in. In front on a backhand. Tendick has it in the glove. Turner Ottenbreit had all the room in the world up the left side. And David Tendick said no. Well, yeah, face off goes back to Ottenbright. And what he does is he goes from that Seattle Vancouver blue line down left wing into the face off circle, cuts to the front of the net. 8.9 seconds. It's got to be a face off win for Vancouver. And the Giants do not clear it. 
Left wing corner, four seconds to play in the period. The Giants are going to grab the puck. They're going to protect it. And for a third time this season between these two teams, we are going to overtime. And how about the Seattle team? They've been to overtime now six of their last eight games. Their last four wins, the Seattle Thunderbirds, are all shootout wins. And they all, they've been all at home. I mean, that's nuts for the fans. they got to love that. And guess what? As we said before, this Seattle team hasn't won a regulation game in their last seven. Make that eight. There's been nothing but overtimes. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the shot total, Dan. You tell our listeners. You know, when the dust settled, it was he and Scott. And when the dust settled after all of that, they moved Todd Scott to Edmonton, who will be back in here, you know, relatively soon, and brought up Trent Miner. And he's getting a perfect view of this 16-year-old miner from the bench and probably is the biggest fan of David Tende. 49-19 the shots. Seattle's record in overtime this season is 1-5. and five. Their shootout record, to your point, is 6-2. and two. Giants in overtime are 4-5, and five, one of which their four overtime victories came against Seattle back in this building back on November 25th. It is going to be Benson, Malm, and Byram against Strand, Niles, and Ottenbright. Giants right to left in overtime. And let's do it. Giants are going to get possession off the opening draw. Bowen Byram going to calmly back it up behind his net. And Byram will start slowly up the middle of his own zone. And he'll drop it for James Malm. Malm at his blue. Now the red up the middle to the blue line, crossing the line. Byram has a look to the outside. Running out of room is Malm. He'll go to the corner for Benson as he bumps with Austin Strand. Strand says, give me that puck. And he will. And now here comes Strand up the ice. Could be a three on two as Benson tries to get back. Strand, point blank. Tendick made the save. And now grabbing the rebound is Niles. Niles at the blue. Finding Ottenbright. He'll fake the shot. He won't let it go. Turner Ottenbright is going to circle back. All the way out to the neutral zone waiting for fresh troops. Giants have the far change in overtime. As a play along the wall is going to be intercepted by Byram. Now Byram going to circle. He'll take it wide on Vulcan. Byram down the right side. Gets in behind. And a shot. Save made by Liam Hughes. Now trying to protect the puck is Mom. He lost it. Here's Tishka down the side with Philp. Philp at the circle across. And a great play by Ronning defensively to get that puck free. And here comes Ronning. One man to beat. Racing down the right wing side. A low shot. And just getting a piece was Vulcan. Nolan Vulcan in his own zone. 3.20 to play in overtime. Tishka lost it. Ronning steals. A chance for history. Scores! Of course he would. He stands alone in Vancouver Giants history. A back For the Vancouver Giants, his 49th of the season is the game winner in overtime, a minute 42 in, and an unbelievable victory for the Vancouver Giants on Ty Ronning's historic goal on home ice at the Langley Event Center. He played that shift like a man possessed. Wasn't he the guy that came back and broke up that pass? Yes. Cross ice pass right in front of Tendick. Guess what? That was as good as you could play defensively. There you go. Give this a listen, folks. As the play went up the ice, Ty Roddick says, I am going to take this game into my own hands. He will never, ever forget his... 49th goal, his record-setting goal for the Vancouver Giants. Went in tight, and then went to his back end and put it up under the crossbar. That was impressive. Turnover. He creates the turnover. 
then he took that puck right away from Jared Tishka. Breaks up the play in his own end. Goes the other way. And finishes it off. Oh, my goodness. We hope you enjoyed this week's WHL in 30 Game of the Week. Tune in next week when the Regina Pats head west on the Trans-Canada Highway for a showdown with the Moose Jaw Warriors. The WHL in 30 Game of the Week has been brought to you by WHL-TV.